Hello students, I hope you have done question 1 to question 4 of exercise 1.1. So here I am continuing that exercise with the continuation. I am starting with question 5. Please go through the PDF file of that chapter integer and start with exercise 1.1. Go through the questions. Okay? Now, question 5. Mohan deposits rupees 2000 in his bank account and withdraws rupees 1642 from it the next day. If withdrawal of amount from the account is represented by negative integer, then how you will represent the amount deposited? Find the balance in Mohan's account after withdrawal. Now, Mohan has deposited some money in his bank account. What is that amount? Rupees 2000. Then, next day he has withdrawn it or taken out. How much money he has taken out? 1642. Now, this amount they are represented by negative integer. So, deposited should be positive. So, I have taken the first part is, I have written the answer that the amount deposited will be represented by positive integer. Now, another part is, find the balance in Mohan's amount after withdrawal. Initially, what was the amount in his bank account? It was 2000. From that, how much? Mohan has withdrawn it. How much he has taken out? 1642. So it is simple. How much will be balance remaining? That will be 2000 minus 1642. So money deposited in account is rupees 2000. Money withdrawn from account is rupees 1642. So balance in Mohan's account will be 2000. Minus 1642. This I have calculated. It comes out to be rupees 358. So the balance in Mohan's account after withdrawal is rupees 358. And it is represented by positive integer. Simple. Okay. Now we will switch over to question 6. Rita goes. 20 km east from a point A to the point B. From B, she moves 30 km west along the same road. If the distance towards east is represented by positive integer, then how you will represent the distance towards west? By which integer you will represent her final position from A. Okay. Now this is the figure. That is, this is given in your textbook also. At point A, Rita goes. Now in this figure you can see two directions. Here it is east and this side it is west. Now the distance towards east. Towards east. They are representing the distance by positive integer and west we are representing by representing by negative integer. Okay? If the answer is positive means the distance is towards east. If the answer is negative means the distance is towards west from A. Now looking at this figure. Rita goes 20 km east from A. This is point A. Rita is going 20 km east from A to point B. Yes? So I have written as distance from A to B is how much kilometer? 20 km. Then from this, you can this from B. She moves along 30 kilometers towards west. So here from B he will move towards 
30 kilometers towards west. So towards west, I have taken this point as C. This is the final position where Rita has reached. Okay? So west means I will represent it by negative integer. Now distance from A to B is 20. Distance from B to C is 30 kilometer. Now what you have to find is distance from by which integer we have to find the distance between A to C. C is our final position. Okay. So this will be first he, she went from A to B that is 20. So this will be 20. Then she came towards west. How much distance? 30. So 20 minus 30. Yes, first she went towards B, that is 20 km east. Then she came towards west, 30. Towards west means it is minus 30. So this will be minus 10. So the final distance from A to C is 10 kilometers, but minus represents west. So you have to write distance from A to C is 10 kilometers towards west. Because distance is 10. But as it is negative integer, negative represents what? It should be negative represents means it is directing towards west. Correct? Again I am repeating A to B she travelled 20 kilometers towards east. From B again she came back to C that is final position. How much distance she has travelled? 30 kilometers. Now initial point to final point this distance we have to find out. So this is plus 20 minus 30 it is coming out to be minus 10 kilometers that means from A to C it is 10 kilometers towards west which is this is indicating by minus sign that is negative integer. Clear? Yes. Now, question 7, it is magic square. You all, many students have, must have saw this magic square. In this ma magic square, you have to go find this sum row wise and column wise. Yes, row wise and column wise. This sum, that is this sum 5 plus minus 5 minus 4, 4, 4 minus 4, 0. So first we have to find this sums, sum of this 3 number, again sum of this 3 number, again sum of this 3 number. Okay? Work is not up, over. Find the sum of these 3 numbers. Now go vertically. First we went horizontally. We will find the sum, then go vertically. Yes? And third step is go diagonally. This way. If all these sums are, you are getting the same answer, that means this square is a magic square. Right? Now let us move this way horizontally. So row wise, so this is 5 plus, you have to find the sum, plus minus 4. Open the bracket, 5 minus 1, minus 4. 5 minus 1 is 4. So 4 minus 4 is 0. Got the sum as 0. 
Now you will find the sum of these two. So 5 minus 5 plus minus 2 plus 7. Just open the bracket. So this will be minus 7 plus 7. What is the sum? 0. Now calculate this one. 0 plus 3 plus minus 3. So 0 plus 3 is 3. Open the bracket. You will get as 0. So for all this horizontal sum, row sums, we got the sum as 0. Okay? Now you will get go vertically. So here if we will go 5 plus minus 5 plus 0. So 5 minus 5 plus 0. 5 minus 5 is 0. Now again we will take these numbers. So this will be minus 1 plus minus 2 plus 3. Open the bracket. So minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3. Minus 3 plus 3 is 0. Now we will do this way. Minus 4 plus 7 plus minus 3. Now minus 4 plus 7 is 3. Open the bracket, you will get 0. So this way well also you are getting the sum as 0. Okay? Now you will go diagonal wise. So let us take this diagonal as, diagonal as this, is this, this and this. So if you go, I am taking one diagonal as D1. It is 5 plus minus 2 plus minus 3. Open the bracket. 5 minus 2 is 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. Now take this way. We have diagonal means this way. We have taken this way now. Another way. Minus 4 plus minus 2 plus 0. So that is minus 4 minus 2 plus 0. So that is minus 6. So minus 4 minus 2 0. So that is you are getting as minus 6. So that means this way here you are not getting the sum as 0. So it is not a magic square. So all the sums you must get it as 0. Right? Now proceeding with question 8. Verify A minus minus B is equal to A plus B for the values of A and B. Now take this side LHS. LHS is what? LHS is left hand side. So if we will take this one A minus minus B. So 21 minus 18. So that is 21 plus 18. You get it as 39. Yes, now take RHS. RHS is A plus B. This is right hand side. Substitute the values instead of A as 21, B as 18. This is 39. So LHS is equal to RHS. We have to write yes, verified. Hence verified. 
Similarly, go for question 2. So, LHS is equal to, again the same process, A minus minus B. What is A? 118 minus B is 125. 118 minus minus is plus. So, this will be 13, 4, 2, 4, 3. Now take RHS. Again it is A plus B. This is RHS, this is LHS. A will be 118 plus 125. Yes, both are equal. Yes, both are equal means yes, hence verified. Similarly, go for question 3. Question 3, LHS is A minus minus B. A is what? 75. B is what? 84. So, this will be 75 plus 84 that is 159. Now, take RHS. That is A plus B. Yes, both are equal. Yes, they are verified. So, here there is one question. Seventh, second one. That question I am giving you as homework. That is the question of magic square. Just add the numbers horizontally vertically and diagonally if the sum is equal then it is a magic square and here question 4 question 8 4 same way you have to do take LHS RHS and see whether they are equal so that is also your homework do it sincerely any doubt is there you can contact me thank you